check out the difference in this new motor controller way bigger this one's the Kelly 380 amp version Kelly motor controller and this is the 220 amp version that I've been using it has so much more power than it used to it's crazy that new speed controller really woke this thing up it's awesome now so much more fun off-road with the big tires whoa it has a lot of torque now one problem is when you start up in high gear it really shudders you have to kind of really baby it off the line. But I wonder if that's something in the software that I could fix so it has a little bit more punch off the line. But this thing is so bouncy. Oh my gosh. Need to do something about that suspension. <laughs> Apparently the batteries were part of the bottleneck and still are, but that speed controller really gave this thing a boost. Even though it was supposedly rated for 220 amps, um, this one at 380 amps total, well that's, that's the max current that this one's rated for. It really pulls way harder with this one, so I'm going to say this is what you should have with this motor. Oh man. My gosh. This thing is so powerful now. <laughs> um I think it's mostly that it's just super rickety. But with that uh new motor controller with 380 amps, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm able to pull some serious power out of these batteries. Um that was fun. I can't really say that this thing is has ever been like really fun to drive, but now it is. Um, despite being super rickety, the suspension is crazy bouncy. Um, it could use a lot of help, but <laughs> this thing is so much fun right now. 